Welcome to New York, home of America's first brewery and first distillery. This city is jam-packed with great old places to get your drink on. We're going to go visit the five oldest right now. Our first stop is down in the Financial District. Here we find the oldest bar in the city, Francis Tavern. Opened in 1760 as the Queen's Head Tavern, this bar was known as a bar for patriots. John Adams, Alexander Hamilton, and George Washington all tipped the glass here, so you'll be in good company. Upstairs is the museum, worth going through to really get the sense of history of this storied place. Downstairs is an expansive bar with draft beer and lots and lots of whiskey. Bonus, check out the long room upstairs. When George Washington retired from the army, this is where he said goodbye to his troops. From Francis, we travel up Water Street until we dead end at the Brooklyn Bridge. And that's where we find the second oldest bar, the Bridge Cafe. This building was constructed in 1794 and has had a bar in it ever since. It was also documented as a brothel in the mid and late 1800s. Calm down, the brothel's gone. Serving sailors from the nearby Southside Seaport, this place has seen some wild times. It's even reportedly haunted upstairs from the working girls who passed on but never seemed to leave. As a bonus, this bar is all about whiskey. Have them make you a rye old fashioned or try one of their many bottles of scotch or bourbon. Also, don't miss out on the food here. Next, staying in Lower Manhattan, we travel northwest to Dribeca, where we find the James Brown House and the third oldest bar in the city. Built by a Revolutionary War veteran in 1817, the house was sold in the early 19th century to a saloon owner and has been occupied by a tavern since 1835. Check out the bottles above the bar. These were used to supply booze to passing ships on the Hudson River, which at one time was just outside the front door. Today, this place is a favorite hangout for locals. On Friday, it's absolutely packed, but it's also a great time. The crowd is fun and the prices are some of the lowest you'll find in the city. As a bonus, walk around the corner to Hook and Ladder Company number eight. You might recognize the building as the headquarters of the Ghostbusters in the hit movie from 1984. We're going to head just north and into the Bowery now, where at one time these streets were lined with bars and brothels for some of the city's most poor and destitute. Yes, that's a dead horse. Only one bar survived though, the fourth oldest bar, McSorley's Old Ale House. It was in 1854 when John McSorley founded his own bar, which is now one of the most popular old bars in the entire city. Stepping in is like stepping back in time. The walls are lined with knickknacks accumulated after almost two centuries of life in New York. The place gets crowded with locals and tourists alike, and it's a good bet you'll probably see a tour group or two pass through while you're here. They have a complete kitchen with great bar classics, and they serve only ale, light or dark, brewed from McSorley's original recipe that he brought with him from Ireland. Bonus, don't miss the chair above the old freezer. Abraham Lincoln stood on it to give an impromptu speech out in the street. North of McSorley's, we find the fifth oldest bar in New York City, Pete's Tavern. However, they wouldn't let us film them, so we're not going to talk about them. Instead, we're going to Greenwich Village to one of our favorite classics, Old Town Bar. Founded in 1892 by a family of German immigrants, this place just oozes class. The long mahogany bar gets crowded just after quitting time, and the place is frequented by professionals heading out after work. Try to get one of the booths along the wall. During Prohibition, they were used to hide booze whenever the cops showed up. Bonus, you've got to check out the urinals. These babies were installed over 100 years ago and still look as fresh as the first time they got used. Hey, thanks for joining us in this bar crawl around the Big Apple. You've now seen the five oldest bars, plus a bonus. Next time you're in the city, go to one or all of these places and explore their history. And don't forget to pick up your copy of our book, available wherever fine books are sold. For Bucket List Bars, I'm Clint Lanier. Cheers!